Welcome to another edition of Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge Tips and Tricks brought to you by HollywoodFrodo.com. I am Eric and today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, controlling the notifications from apps. When you drag down on your uh, notification panel you get all these notifications. Some apps go crazy with them. Some of them have persistent notifications such as Task or that's a persistent notification to keep it active. Uh, and there is a way to allow the app to stay active but not actually show a notification or stop any app you want from showing a notification uh, if you want to. And that's what we're going to look at today. There's a couple of ways to do that. But we're going to start with the most obvious one. You go into settings. We're going to open settings. And then go to notifications. Right here is notifications. So I'm going to click on that. And it's going to load up all of my apps. And then right here, this is an on off button. So if I click that, that's off. I will not get notifications from the AAA app. Turn it on. So you can go down and you can just control exactly what apps you do not want to receive any notifications from. You turn it off, it will not be allowed to show notifications in your notification tray. So uh, pretty simple, kind of a cool feature. Now you can also click advanced and when you go to advanced you can uh, toggle on additional notifications such as priority notifications, um, pop-up notifications, or hide on the lock screen. So again, let's click triple A, and now you have very specific stuff. So you can allow or not allow, you can set as priority, so that means that the notification will always be, that's not my notification panel, that's a, another cool app I have. Um, so that notification will always be on the top. If it's priority, it stays at the top. So. You can uh, set it to be as a priority or not. Preview and pop-ups, so you can allow notifications to show a pop-up at the top of the screen. Um, that's the little pop-up that kind of comes down from the top of the screen. A lot of text messaging apps do that and then it goes away. You can allow or not allow that. You can also hide information on a lock screen, hide the notification entirely. That means if you're using a lock screen, the notification will or won't show at all. And if you have it uh, left on because you want it to show, but you don't want it to show all the info, then you can hide content. So maybe you want it to show your text messages, but you, you just want to see that you got a message and who it's from. You don't want to see the actual message because you don't want someone else to accidentally see it. You can turn off the uh, content on the lock screen. So uh, love it that there's so many different uh, ways you can really make notifications do exactly what you want them to do. Uh, and that's a really, really cool feature. So that's uh, advanced notifications and that is inside of notifications and that's how you get into that. Um, there is another way that you can also uh, do, change the notification settings and that's if you go in here, I'm going to pull down on that and see right there, disable. So if I click disable, I'm disabling the notifications for Tasker uh, right away. So that's another way to do it. There is one other way to do it. If you go into settings and then you just go into, instead of going into notifications, you go into applications and go into application manager and you can pick any notification. Just to be consistent, we're gonna pick the AAA app again and then you'll see right here notifications. So I hit that and it takes me to that same advanced screen so I can uh, change the advanced exactly how I want the notifications to be from that app as far as allowing them or not, sitting as priority, allowing previews and pop-ups and what I want to do on the lock screen. So a lot of ways uh, on the S7 and S7 Edge for you to take full control of your notifications. Of course a lot of those features are just built into uh, Android Marshmallow, so anyone with Android Marshmallow will have a lot of those. But uh, specifically on the S7 and S7 Edge, that's how you get to them, that's how you change them. Just really puts you in control of exactly what notifications you do or don't want and what information you do or don't want to show on your lock screen. So anyway, that's it for this video, this tip and trick video. Hope you liked it. If so, please click that like button. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this playlist to keep up with future S7 and S7 Edge tips and trick videos as well as accessory reviews and just all kinds of cool stuff related to the S7 and S7 Edge. Check out my uh, product review playlist for all kinds of uh, smartphone and tablet accessories for any smartphone. Uh, a lot of them which you might find uh, handy to use with your S7. And check out my Android app review playlist to find out about all kinds of cool Android apps that will help make your S7 phone even better. Also my Tasker tutorial playlist if you want to take control of your phone with automation. Anyway that is going to be it until next time. So have fun with your Samsung Galaxy S7.